Did you see any of the video of that son of a bitch that charged Chappelle? No, I haven't. I heard he got he got he, he got, got beat to a it's pulp though. Beautiful. He got the ever living crap beat out of him and his arm snapped. So when he's <laughs> on the gurney going into the thing, his face is swollen and cut over here, and his arm is just like bent and twisted. It's a beautiful thing. Guys, That's what you get for charging the should, stage. You should know that. Everywhere outside of the Oscars has security. <laughs> yeah, and I guess, you know, un- and thankfully he wasn't a famous person because otherwise they would have just let him sit back in his chair and probably given him an award. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Rick. <laughs> Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. And he follows the Instagram, Twitter for all juicy what? content. What? Thanks on Patreon, follow us your Twitter account, subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. And if you charge a performer while they're doing their performance, you deserve to have the living crap beat out of you and sent to jail. But if you are performing, you should charge them for your services. True. <laughs> <laughs> Little tidbit of information. Artists deserve the support <laughs> that they ask for. Hi, my name is Corbin. I will not work for free. Uh, <laughs> today, uh, Subin's trailer finally hey, is out good, for his, time. uh, I think it's like a horror film, right? Yeah. Uh, a little bit of, uh, Dijin. Dijin. Uh, Subin, uh, is the star of it. We've seen the uh, teaser for it. That it we looked, liked a lot. It looked like it was going to be like a kind of a horrorish style mm-hmm. of a... We right? liked it. Yep. Uh, Malayalam. Uh, and that is all I know. So, uh, let's just get into Have this. you seen it? Speaking of this genre, have you seen any trailers for Nope yet? No, is the trailer out? Yeah, the trailer for Nope is out. So you can look just good? look it up. Yep. It's, it's Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele. Yeah, of course it's going to be good. Yep. Here we go. Legends. Oh, I thought I was supposed to offer the commentary and sound. <laughs> you know, it would not be a good slogan for a sport company. Smell the victory. That would not work well. Jock straps. Yeah, jock straps. That would work for a jock strap company. No, I can't. Oh. Whoa! Interesting shot. Interesting. Interesting. Would not what I expected. No, not what I expected at all. Especially with that middle part of, yeah. of him getting cleaned up, cleaned and, up, and in the city and at a club. Yeah, and I didn't really understand car chases. And what was going on there? No, it, it went po- from like this village yeah. thriller to suddenly became like a 
a city crime thing. Yeah, I'm so confused. Yeah. But then it kind of brought me right back in, and <laughs> at the at but I'm, the end, I'm kind of happy confused because yeah. it's it's doing the you know try to predict what this is going to be. You're not going to be able to. Thing. Yeah, the yeah. Malayalam film. Industry. Yeah, exactly. Uh, kind of exactly. just the way just those trailers that. work. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I was just trying to figure out. I was like, okay, so he's getting cleaned up. I thought this was like a. Am I wrong? Looks very original, that's for sure. It is It is classified as a horror on IMDb. So that's why I was like, okay, it's going action? Like, what is what is it? So the lady encounters a supernatural thing during a tour and a horror experience with a sudden appearance of a man called Digin. The story goes on a horror path. Okay. It's interesting because this didn't feel as horror-y as the teaser. In the village parts, it did more. Correct, but not the the city thing the was city like. Thing kind of took a different vibe, and maybe right. it was just maybe there's something we didn't understand, um, uh, and or maybe like he's possessed in some way. Yeah, I don't and know. And like, so the 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 guy takes o- the possession takes over. I don't know. I, don't I have know. zero clue, and I like that. I like that. I I, I don't. I don't yeah, know. me too. And um, obviously, Subin looked great. Yeah, if you've been around here at all, and you're part of the stupid family, you know. If Subin's in something, we're going to want to see it because everything we've ever seen him do, we've enjoyed. And watching him be able to, you know, continue to lead films is exciting and yeah, the first interesting. Thing, the first thing we saw him in was Kumbalanji. Kumbalanji right? Nights, yeah. And obviously, I mean, it was hard to talk about anything other than Fafa in that movie, uh, even though everybody even was the, amazing and everything else was great. We loved the whole film. Um, but yeah, it's he did so he said did such a good job in that and everything. Subsequent. Yep. Subsequent. What, what was the, the last thing we saw him in was um, that that most recent? We saw it just a few weeks ago. Uh, he played the the teacher in the school, the coach. Oh yeah, the with the basketball, the the Malayalam film. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. We, we didn't particularly like. Didn't particularly like, much. but he, as always, yeah, he was, was good. Good. Uh, par- it started with a P. I forget what uh, what the exact name of it is. Uh, did we get a release date? Did you see a release? I didn't date? see a release date. It may, it may have said it at the very end, but I missed it. I, I was looking through. I didn't see a release date. And is it a theatrical or an OTT? That's another thing I was looking for. Um, but Wouldn't I, surprise me if it was OTT. Yeah, and that's a conversation because I keep hearing in Indian in Indian cinema because now that you know these, these massive blockbusters, KGF, RRRs, and, and all those films, right? Now everybody is just saying anything that is not that should just go to OTT. They should have said Jersey should no. have gone OTT. They should have said uh, Renvier's film should just go OTT. They should no. like any like so if you're not a big blockbuster, you don't deserve to go No, no I think the audience disagree. need to change and be Absolutely. like we're going to not only support these big films that we enjoy, but and the, the other thing that's so frustrating about it is that those you know, same people that are like, "Oh, you know, this is failing." And they say that like Bollywood or whoever doesn't do original stuff never goes to support the original stuff in theaters. Right. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's and this is not about any one particular film. No. This has been always going in, and it's a thing here as well. People don't support that. <laughs> like, thank God, thank everything, everything, everything all ever all at once. once. Thankfully, is an that, independent film that is doing absolutely great but that, simply because of word of mouth. But that's one out of a million. Yeah. There's countless films that nobody goes to see either because they don't know or they're, yeah. they're like ah. well the other encouraging thing that happened this year was coda oh. all of the attention that coda got given the oscar to troy kotzer given the oscar to the film that was just another little independent kind of f- feature film feature, yeah. low budget that really did well so as far as here in the states are concerned no there's still enough people here that love film that are like us, that want big blockbuster experience and then also want to be able to go and sit down and enjoy high-level artistry on the big screen. And nobody cares about box office. The only thing that matters about the box office, you give the money to movies that you want made more like that movie and you purposefully avoid and tell others to avoid the ones that you don't want made that way because all the studios are going to do is... That's up... The studios need to do that. That's a business investment. The creators shouldn't care and great creators don't they make their movies and move on and audiences definitely don't need to care because seriously you get none of the money and the money means nothing about the value of a film no and it's it's, it's artistic relevance nothing it means zero just because avengers made a kajillion dollars doesn't make it a better film than coda 
exactly. Just, even even though even though it's a good film, Endgame it's, is freaking. It's, it's a phenomenal, astonishingly film. well written and just, well acted. But regardless of what a film makes, does not no. determine its good or badness. No, and you know, how many films? But I do did terrible at the box office. Yeah, exactly. How many films also in history did terrible at the box office and everyone loved them and they became cult classics that everybody says you've got to see because they initially didn't do good box office. So it's just, it's a never ridiculous sense to me why people measure. Care so much. It's not a measure of artistic Luckily, quality. Malayalam does not. Yeah. They're, they're just, they're like, we're going to make good content. I yep, don't yep, care yep. what you have to say. Anyway, exactly. Okay. Another right, really good done. one. Let yeah, us know what you thought. Uh, what should be the next Subin film that we should watch in Malayalam film down below? Josh!